what happens if I get a problem that is 2 to the third power? Sorry, I'm not focused very well for some reason. 2 to the third power plus 4 to the second power. Well, the way that I want to solve this is if we remember PEMDAS, and I write it like this because remember parentheses, exponents, and I know multiplication, neither one is more important, so I always put them side by side because they're inverse operations. And I'm just going to use, I know I said don't use an X, but I'm using an X so you can see it. And same thing for addition and subtraction. No, no number, no addition problem is more important than subtraction. We read left to right, so I kind of write them that way to help myself remember. This is something I always put on my paper. I'm just going to kind of do the same thing here. Well, I have no parentheses, but I have exponents, so I'm going to read left to right. So I'm going to start with this exponent, 2 to the third power. So 2 times 2 times 2. I want to expand it out. Then I'm going to put it in parentheses, plus 4 times 4 in parentheses. So now I'm going back through PEMDAS, and I have parentheses. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Plus 4 times 4 is 16. Then I add those together, and I get... I break them apart again, so I make this a 10. So 8 and a 10 would be 18. I'm going to take 2 from the 6 to make 20, and this is going to give me 24.